Hello, once again, thank you for watching. This is Robin, the sewing doctor from New York and CitySewing.com. Let's go. Here we have this machine that came in for service. This is Singer Brilliance. Um, the customer is saying that they're having a timing issue. So we're going to go inside and check the timing. Um, on the receipt, it says actually that it has a timing issue. So I'm going to go inside, check it out, open okay, it up. Okay, this and is see another tip I want to give you. When you do the timing on the Singer machine or any other machine, it's very important to keep the transportation on the needle and the feet door correctly. And I'll show you what the difference are. As you can see now, when I'm turning this wheel, you can see how the feet door goes on the way to the back. Now, when the needle is coming down and the needle start penetrating, the actually needle plate right here, you can see the feet door, it's perfectly flat with the needle plate. Meaning that if the needle is going down while the feet door is high, then it's completely off. So you wanna make sure that, you know, when the needle is coming down, the feet dog start moving to the back and as soon as the needle start penetrating the needle plate, right at that point over there, the point of the needle is flat with the needle plate. The feet though has to be just flat with the needle plate also. As you can see now, needle are coming down, feet are moving back, and then your needle just start penetrating the needle plate. At the same time, the feet door is perfectly flat. Everything is flat here. The feet door is not lower, it's not higher, it's perfectly flat with the needle plate. Uh, for you guys, as you can see, I put in a brand new needle. Before I checked anything on the timing, the first thing I do, I replace the needle. Why? If I fix the timing with the old needle, then when I put a new needle in there, the timing might not be right. So keep that in mind. When you're going to check on your timing on the machine, first thing, put a new needle in there, and then you know for sure that you're gonna be there doing everything correctly. Okay, this is very um, important for me to tell you. Um, you see, when the customer is saying that there was a timing issue, it might be that it's breaking the thread, that the stitch is not coming nice. Um, nice. So I could see that here, right over here, as you could see, um, there's a lot of um, scratch in there. So, so it's very, very scratchy. When I put my fingers on there, I could feel like cutting me out. I scratching my fingers there. So that's not good. That's probably what's happening with this um, machine that they actually, maybe they broke a needle, a couple of needles right over here. And actually the point of the hook also, it's very, very sharp. So that's not a good thing at all. As you can see right over there, you can see that there's a lot of scratch in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna file it down. It's a very nice file. Um, you could buy a little sponge that Home Depot sells something like this and you file it down slowly until you see that there's nothing in there. It should be just like you see here. Here, if I put my fingers on there, I could see that my fingers slice very nice and very easy without no damage at all. So this could be the problem that the customer had. 100% that this is the problem. That's why the thread's getting stuck in there. It's breaking the thread and the point is very, very sharp and it has a little bit of a, um, a crush over there so too. That might be cutting the thread out. So I'm gonna buff it up and then I show you after. I already filed it you know, using that little sponge, as you can see, you know, they have different sizes sponge. So you get one that is a little heavy and then you get another one that is very, very soft. And then what you wanna do is make sure that the hook, when you put your fingers in there, you don't feel anything. As you can see right now, everything is nice and clean. There's no scratch in there. There's nothing in there. Everything is perfectly fine. This is how you wanna do it. I'm gonna put this back into the machine and then everything should be fine. Okay, I have now finished the machine. Let me make some samples. Okay, let me check the back and see what's going on. See, very nice, very good stitch. Let me make a zigzag on it. I like to try different stitches on the machine. So let me try the zigzag and see what it is. And this machine is number three. Okay, we got a very nice clean stitch. So, you know, this is what I was meaning before when I said that there was not problem with the, the, the actually timing. Probably the hook was damaged and that's why the machine was having problems. So, you know, um, this machine is now fixed, it's already repaired. So that's something that you guys could do at home before you take the machine into the shop. Like I always said, check these little minor things and you should be able to get it fixed. Once again, thank you for watching. Again, the Sewing Doctor in New York from Sewing Machine Shop. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any comments, just leave it below. And if you have a machine that has given you problems, please send it a picture, send an email, send a video. Tell me what you need and we'll definitely try to help you as much as we could. Thank you.